fee and penalty. Uh, you have uh, we have the complete fee details uh, as far as Kerala is concerned. Application fee is rupees thousand for all candidates except for SCST candidates for which it is 500. Service candidates can apply an additional 1000 rupees in addition to whatever they are paying as 1000 uh, if they are also applying for general quota. For service quota they will pay high, uh, 1000 if they are applying for general quota. I don't want service quota. Service quota will give you give them good seats but I want to get into general for some other seat then they will pay another 1000 rupees. Online payment only. Security deposit is required before round on option registration. Not at this stage at the time of option registration not now during application. But option registration is the choice filling part. You pay 10,000 or uh, rupees 5,000 for SCST candidates adjusted to the tuition fee if candidate joins. This is adjusted to the tuition fee when the candidate joins. So basically if you are going to pay let us say 57,000 plus 23,000 at the time of uh, 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 joining the institute, uh, instead of uh, making that payment you will pay 10,000 less. For this there is a slip that you will get, fee payment slip. That you need to take to the institute. So when you are paying 10,000, you need to take that fee payment slip. Registration fee for round 3 participation. What you are doing is application now to be part of the merit list. Round 2, they will not open up registrations. Uh, new applications. You want to participate in round 2. Now itself you have to register and fill choices. Because round 1 choices only will be taken up to round 2. No fresh choice filling will be given. Or rather you cannot add choices. You can delete choices but you cannot add choices. And that too is dependent upon whether you are allotted joint etc. We will be doing the round wise rule separately. Government only, government tuition fee, uh, when during the round 3, when you are participating, you will need to pay the government fee. If you are only opting for government institutes, let us say the fee is 57,000 uh, something, you have to pay that amount in addition to this, uh, uh, after deducting 10,000. So, 47,000 plus possibly a caution deposit, 20,000 or something that you, you pay during admission, that needs to be paid. So, basically that amount will be paid. For what? For even option registration, it is kind of a security deposit only again. Similarly, for private institutes, you will pay 1 lakh. Already I paid 10,000, I will pay only 90,000. So, this amount will you will lose if you do not join the seat. This will be required. It will not be refunded. But if you join the seat, it will be adjusted. Like you do not need to pay that again. Uh, this uh, amount will be adjusted against the tuition fee. Tuition fee for government institutes will be 57,890 plus 23,160 towards caution deposit and an annual fee. This includes caution deposit of 11,000 around and an annual fee of 11,000 around, around that amount. RCC Trivandrum around has a fee of 3 lakhs. Uh, private institute fee, you can have a look at this. Clinical is between this, this for 2024, this might change. NRI quota is at around 38 lakhs. Clinical is between 17 to 19 lakhs approximately. All these need to be paid at the allotted institute. Once you get your allotment memo, we said during joining, you need to take all the certificates. You need to go ahead and make the fee payment at the allotted institute. There, they will give you, uh, they will get the fee payment and give you the receipt. After that, if you move on to another institute, the fee amount will be adjusted. In case the fee amount is higher, uh, then you will have to pay the balance fee only in the second institute. Uh, they will transfer it. They will not give it back to you. Uh, in case the fee amount is lower, uh, then the amount will be credited back to you later, at later point in time. Penalty, uh, there is a timeline. Basically, uh, stray vacancy join seat or around that timeline if you resign the penalty starts which is at 50 lakhs and if you don't pay the penalty you will be debarred for two years we are not sure whether anybody has done that debarment for two years doesn't mean that with, instead of 50 lakhs I am debarred for two years we are not sure about that they have just mentioned that you have to pay the penalty and we will recover that is very clear if you still continue not paying we will even debar for two years is what we think it is it is not or in debarment I can go for debarment kind of so always take your call right here.